Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Wright Justice for All. I told you guys that I'm jumping back into the series. We're gonna knock this whole game out the park. Then we're gonna jump into the third one right away. I just woke up like 20 minutes ago, so I'm still trying to get my voice warmed up. I got a cup of coffee right here. All the Persona 5 fans, I told you that game's coming back too. So anybody that's tuning into this series, I need you guys to be the voice of me, like the extension of the voice, and tell people that are asking in other videos that it's gonna come back. I just need a little bit more time to get back to where I was, kind of, because I'm gonna play Persona 5 Royal, and I'm gonna introduce the new characters that are in the game. But anyway, we're talking about Phoenix Wright. I just mentioned Persona 5 a lot because Phoenix Wright fans and Persona 5 fans seem to be meshed together, so you guys tune into the same series. But anyway, we're gonna jump back into this game right now. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! December 29, 3.03 p.m., Wright and Co. Law Offices. Um, Nick? Sorry, guys. What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. Magic tricks? Yep, magic tricks are by their very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But, but, the trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearls did a magic trick? Hmm, what kind of trick was it? Let's see, it looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. Heh. <laughs> First she put her right thumb next to her left hand and then it just separated. Oh, like this? Like when you go like this and you go, BOOM! And then I bring it back! Then I bring it go! Wait, you can see my, oh my god. I forgot the camera shows at a downward angle. First she put her right thumb next to her left hand and then it just separated. I already read that. Why am I so cringe right now? Why am I so cringe right now? She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Oh wait, so it wasn't like I just showed you. Okay, so it was extra cringe than what I just showed you. Wow. Really? Was it kind of like this? What? Wow, how did you do that? Nick, you're like a real magician. Okay, it's like this, guys. And then you go, See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a mad. You'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. Alright, well, let's get the heck out of here, because I want to solve this mystery. December 29, very big circus. Alright, let's do it. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, wait. Quit your whining. Let's just give this a shot already. Alright. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but Trill, this just isn't going to work. Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're gonna have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you gonna do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trillo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret crash training course? I'm sorry. Secret crash training? Whoa. Yes, Trillo wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out his idea for a new routine. So, we were trying to sing in a round for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? That's incredible! See? See? Even they are surprised by the idea. I told you! They're not the only ones. You even surprised me with your idea. Once we've got a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. You think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, there it is. Now that I've got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina. All right, well, I guess we're going to talk to Ben and Trillo about today's trial. Um, I know that you already testified in court today. You want to talk about what we saw, right? Yes. Well, at first we thought it was the old man. Just look at his walk and how he acted. Right, Ben? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. But then we said hello and didn't even get a reply. Not to mention he was draped in those gaudy symbols. What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm, what do you think, Ben? What? Oh, um, I would have thought it was the ringmaster. Hmm, something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. Let's talk about marriage. Blech. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. That's why I'm waiting for her even now. Really? That's so sweet. But if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you check out the tent? 
Ha! Ah, you haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Huh? Waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? If you had a clue, you would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. When your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts! Um, yeah, I knew that. Poor Maya. She's so red, she looks like a vine-ripe tomato. Let's talk about ventriloquism. So how is this new routine working out? Will you two just take a chill pill already? Our routines are secret! We're gonna take the ventriloquism world by storm! It'll be a real revolution! That sounds incredible. But let me make one thing clear. We're not gonna take on the world just because that jerk said we should. That jerk. Max Galactica! Performer should aim for the world! Who does he think he is? Trillo, you seem to really be fired up about all this. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. You're right. You're right. Mark my words. I, Trillo Quist, will win the Grand Prix! You're the man now, doll. Row, 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 your boat will be the key to a glorious victory. Um, not to rain on your parade, but wouldn't a more mature song be best? Hey, you've got to start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up. You've got to be a part of this, too. Okay, well, we're just going to go away from the world's saddest punching bag. And we are going to make our way to Big Sloppy Toppy. December 29th, very, very big circus. Big top. Huh? Where were Dina? Sorry again, guys. I don't know. But if she's with that tiger, I don't want to find out. Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? A chicken? It's a freaking tiger, Maya! Are you serious? No, 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 no. I'm just uh, allergic to wild tigers. Are you a chicken for... Are you a chicken for tigers? No, I just want to live, okay? December? Yeah, you guys already know what day it is. Oh, it's you two. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? <sighs> I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. Miss Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Yeah, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. Listening to that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing something. Um, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? Francisco really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal. You're not gonna get me to backbite a woman with a whip. No way. Why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up. Whew, there she is. Don't show up. 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 Looks like she's wound him up pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room, behind the window up there? The acrobat's got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. So don't get any ideas of going up to the acrobat's room, got it, pal? Uh, well, now that you told me that, I'm definitely not going up there, right, guys? <sighs> Francisca Von Karma. When she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. December 29, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. There we go, Max is here. Oh, my sweeties! You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from a local TV station came by. And since I'm a famed magician, they said, let's make you your very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica, the great prison escape. It would be aired live. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking. But the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. 
You seem awfully calm about that possibility. You sure he's sweating ass right now? I'd have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation. That's show business. Uh, let's talk about show business. Knights of the Med. Um, the night of the crime. You didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here's how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not just something I can do at will. I don't care what the stoogie clown says, it wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? Hmm, you'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much, it's much harder than you think. Uh, how about today's trial? I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous! A great joke! Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But... I've won on the world stage. I won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix? Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something that I can simply not tolerate. Ambition, huh? Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. Grand Prix. Oh my! My sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest though, I've told the story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring. We're sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. I am really sick of telling the story. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Voila! Here, take a look at this. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Where did you stick that under? You can't bring stuff like that into prison. Just look at the fabulous stage. That is the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At the time, I thought to myself that I could die right then and die a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions. The acclaim. Wow. <clears throat> By the way, I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. Hey, Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Look and learn! That's what you should tell them. Learn how to get thrown in jail? Grand Prix photo added to the court record. Photo of Max's award ceremony. Okay, well, now that we got that photo, I guess we're just gonna show it off, you know? We're gonna show it off to this guy, because I, I know he mentioned it earlier. So, Grand Prix photo. So, take that! Would you mind taking a look at this? Uh, oh, I, 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 oh, that, uh, I, it's... Oh, somebody's here. December 29, Big Top Cafeteria. All right! Welcome to the wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria! Yikes, he's in an awfully good mood. All right, you know what time it is. Riddle time! Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um... Come on, you can answer this. It's easy! Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction? Wrong! Try again! Okay, what do you think, girly? Um, oh, I got it! Okay, what's your answer? Because they're in the cafeteria? Exactly! It's an incredibly sad place, that cafe! <laughs> I did it! What's going on? He's being too nice. Alright, I guess we're gonna talk to him. Today's been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me. I didn't think it was gonna be so tough. Tough? Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd this morning I had to smash watermelons. Huh... I told him all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. He even used the fame no shoes, no shirt, no service joke? Exactly. How can you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? What you witnessed. 
Are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw. I swear, that creep just... Flew through the air? I wasn't exactly flying, per se. It was more like floating. Somebody told me in the comments that the expression on his hat is the same one that he's making on his face, and it changes every time, you know, he changes his own smile or frown or whatever. That's actually very creepy. I don't see a psych lock. He must be telling the truth. Okay, well, you know what? If you're not gonna tell the truth, I'm just gonna have to present something to you, so wind it up and take that! Ah, not this picture. He showed it to you guys, too? Huh? You've seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica. He really gets around. <laughs> oh yeah. He didn't just show me the picture. What do you mean? He showed me his bus too. Let me tell you, that thing is enormous. It's in the picture, I think. He'd make us worship it. Every day, he made us bow to his greatness. He's got a big bust? I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. Yeah, not in that way, you sick perverts. Let's talk about that bust. Let's see how busty Max is. Max's bust should be on that small table over there. There's nothing over there. Really? Oh, yeah. Huh. When was it? I'd say about five days ago, all of a sudden. The bust disappeared. It disappeared. If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Max just had to put the picture up. Hmm. Hey, this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a bust of me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Aww. Max G bust added to the core record. Is there anything else that's changed about this place? Nope, nothing's changed that I can see. I wonder if he's actually thinking about this, or if he is setting up a bad joke. Nope, nope, I'm drawing a blank here. A quiet mo is a good mo in my book. I guess there really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Well, there is this one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us, tell us! What changed? Come on, spit it out, bitch. Well, on the morning of the crime, over on that bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted front and center. Piece of paper? It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see its title. Yikes. It says, to the murderer. M -m 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 murderer Yup, that's what it says. But the rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Um, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. For the murder? Yes, the ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? Note added to the court record, posted in the cafeteria on the day of the crime, then torn, states, to the murderer. Nick, I think we'd better follow up on this important lead. Yeah, uh, before we do that though, let's examine it. Oh no, not this. Let's examine the evidence. Okay, nice and busty. And let's check out this thing. We can't check out that thing? Okay, we can't check out that thing. Let's go to detention center. And let's present this thing. Do you know anything about this note? The morning of the murder, it was posted on the wall in the cafeteria. I do know all about that note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and company entered the room. And company. I guess it wasn't really a company. It was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it in the pocket of his tailcoat. Really? Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go and find out on your own. I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. Okay, well, I don't want to do that, but I know exactly where the tail coat is because I remember examining that before. So we got to go to Big Top, and then we got to move into Ringmaster's room, and let's get it, boys. There's the tail coat right there. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the pocket of the tail coat. 
You know, I've got a feeling I know what that is. I bet that's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Dude, he just said it. Then let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. Yeah. I knew it. It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murder. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Tonight at 10 p.m.? That's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the Ringmaster. Note updated in the court record. Torn by Ringmaster found in his tailcoat pocket. Okay, so the Ringmaster went out there at 10 p.m. and then just got slashed. Here we go, Gumshoe's back. Big dicky Gumshoe. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I'm done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. What with Miss Von Karma? Nick, what is that? That beeping sound? Hmm. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Some sort of pager or something. If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Quick! See you, pal! I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. The wind's as biting as- OW! Oh! It's biting his lashes from a whip! It's Von Gamma! Von, Von, Von Gamma! She really did appear. It was a real battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day. The day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? <laughs> national news? You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. Okay, are we going to talk to her? Sure. Miss Von Karma, it appears you got your hands onto something big, huh? Ha! I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of victory with ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness. You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me. I can't worry about her. I've got to try and find out more information myself. Revenge. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. Damn, I got chill with that! My dad? You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course, your dad. I know you miss him. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get mouthful of whip! Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this? Or any other conversation? Then... Then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? I have to see him again, one more time. Him? I'm sure you know to whom I refer. Miles Edgeworth! Oh, edgy baby! My edgy baby! What? Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth? M M Miles e Edgeworth, edgy baby? Miles Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth? Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor, Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma. Exactly right. It was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was... Right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. Huh? Little brother? But Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. He inspired me to love. I fought against him in a few cases. But a little after that case was over. He vanished. Like a fart in thin air. It's your fault he is gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... I... Nick... 
What does she mean? Edgeworth's death? Bruh. Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case. And then, with the case after that one... He never set foot into court again. And then one day, he just vanished. That doesn't mean he's dead. All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Maybe he died in spirit. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. That was one year ago. It was a few months after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive. I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddied the honorable name, but come! I'm going to find him. And then, I'm going to teach him his rightful place with my own two hands. And then I'm going to whip him. Nick! Um, about Mr. Edgeworth. Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again! Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? Nick. Miss Von Karma. What? I don't know if you're a god's gift to prosecutors or not, but I've had enough of you. Him too! What in the world happened? Huh. This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you two of today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen! Nick? Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. Yeah, me too. Edgy baby. You know what Edgy does to me. You know what he does deep out- Hey, what's up, my guy? December 29, lodging house, third floor. Acro's room. You must be Phoenix Wright. Yes. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. Dingling? What the- Bro, Ken D Dingling? You can't have, like, a more suspect name, bro. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Mr. Acro? Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly perform on the tightrope on the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform is in my wheelchair. Oh, damn, dude. What the heck happened to you? Very big circus. Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all, without me. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the ringmaster was truly a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Why are those birds pecking at his head? Sometimes, I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Huh. I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina is so cute. She's truly a princess. Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Hmm. Do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? Well, if he's in a wheelchair, why are there poo-poo stains right there by the window? Wheelchair. Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now? I can't even stand now. And since I lived on the third floor, I can't even leave this building by myself. Why is he in a wheelchair and on the third floor? He should be on the first floor. The rest of the performers who live on the second and first floor? You guys are assholes! That's awful. The accident happened during an acrobatic session, right? Um... Oh, okay. My bad. My bad, my guy. Don't want to tell me. Cyclops! It doesn't seem like Acro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well? Exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago? What in the world went on at the circus then? Uh, what happened? I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, 
You went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it. When I saw what I saw... What you saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. Okay, what did you see, dude? What did you see, Acro? That night... I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see. The scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out the window. What did you see? He was flying straight up into the air. He? Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying. I'm absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. N Nick. Um, hmm. Okay, well, what we're gonna do... We're not gonna move. Let's examine that floor right here. I can't examine that floor right there? You can see the big top from the window here. There is no snow on top of the big top. Kinda weird, don't you think? The inside of the tent is warm, so any snow that lands on top probably melts. I guess you're right. The snow probably just slides right off. Okay, well, you know what? I want to talk about Maximilian real quick, so let's present this. You want to know about Max? Well, his colleagues in the circus all seem to hate him. What about you, Acro? I've got my issues with him as well. But he just also happens to have a diamond shining in his soul. A diamond shining in his soul? I guess you could say it's his pride as a performer. We didn't have the pride in ourselves before Max arrived. Honestly, I think he brought something wonderful to the circus when he came. Acro, this guy is really different from the other members of the circus. How about Regina? Regina. She's cool, isn't she? And can you believe such a cute girl is an animal tamer? It seems animals are not the only thing she tames. Ooh, hoo hoo, gossip, tea, who we gonna sip to that? Huh? Max, the ringmaster, Ben. She's got them all under her thumb. What do you mean by that? Hmm, maybe I went a bit overboard. It's just Regina's innocence. She was incredibly sheltered as a child. I'd say it seems that way. That's why she can be so cruel. What? Regina is just like the animals she claims to tame. She's innocent, thus she can be cruel. I wonder what happened between Acro and Regina. Okay, we can talk about it, right? No, we can't? Oh, okay. Well, if we can't talk about it, then can we talk about this note, potentially? Wait, let's talk about it, right here. Ba bam No, do the note. Present the freaking note, Jay! What are you doing, bud? Present! What are you doing? Present! Huh. What's this? That's what we want to know. It was posted in the cafeteria the morning before the maid. In the cafeteria? What happened? He suddenly looks incredibly serious. If it's got something to do with her, then you should go straight to the source. Her? Regina, ask her about it. Okay. Um, you know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the plaza, and then hopefully Regina is inside of the... Oh, I got a burp. Hopefully Regina's inside of... Where is it? Big Sloppy Toppy. Yeah, she is. Alright, let me burp real quick, guys. Excuse me. I've got a bad feeling about this. Ah! Nick! Wonderful. Today's special must be Phileo Phoenix. Stay! Stay! Heal! Oh, Maya, Nick, it's you guys. I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. A m mistake? Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? Damn, she was gonna let her tiger eat a monkey? What the hell is wrong with her? Okay, let's uh, present Zenote and let's say, I take that! 
Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. Really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket? This piece of paper was in your pocket? Hmm, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Acro as breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I'd go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realized the piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. And then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did! I stuck it up there! How did you know? Hmm, so it was Regino who put it up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. Note updated in the court record found in Regina's pocket on the morning of the crime. Okay, well, let's talk about Acro. Acro Dingling or whatever his name was. Ah, it's Acro. Is he in his room today? Yes, he is. We just came back from meeting with him. I hope his legs get better soon. Acro's so incredible, especially on the trapeze. The trapeze is that enormous swing hanging from the top of the tent, right? Yep, that's it. I really want to see him up there again. Acro the Acrobat. That's strange. Acro doesn't seem to have very many nice things to say about Regina. But Regina seems to like Acro just fine. Okay, is there anything we can talk about with you? Russell Berry? Money the Monkey? Let's talk about Russell. It's a pity about what happened to the Ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was! I love my dad so much! I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. But I bet you there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course! You really think so? Yeah, you will. I think. I've got a feeling that everyone is doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's alright with Regina. Eh, things don't seem right in the head. Just to go back and clear something up, why'd you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you? It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. We should? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney? Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Uh, sure. I'll get it for you. Leave it all up to us! Guess there's no turning down that request. Yay! You're really gonna do it? Sure. I'm gonna see if we can find the other performers, and we are gonna talk about Acro so we can uh, break that cyclop. So let's see here. I think Mo's here, right? Momo? Something smells fantastic! So we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers! Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the Bistro Dessert, aka the cafeteria. Mmm, it smells so good in here, and those burgers look great. She's drooling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best! Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce. They are absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger. One bite will send you into hamburger heaven. I bet. I can tell by the smell. Whoa. I'm getting hungry, too. Those burgers must have some kind of special power. I'm actually getting kind of hungry, too. In real life, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Alright, let's present this. Let's see here. To the murderer. That's far from polite. Why did you find the rest of this note anyway? Maybe it'd be best if I didn't tell Mo where we found it. Oh, my bad. Uh, don't worry about it, Mo. If I didn't need to worry about it, he shouldn't have shown it to me. My bad, dude, my bad. Let's talk about Acro. He's always been a very private guy. 
When he came here, he was only about 10 years old. We had just started the very big circus around the time that Russell took him in. These are really hard memories to bring up. Akro was so happy to have joined the circus. He was especially grateful to the ringmaster, and I'm sure he is grateful to you too. Huh? He's grateful to me too? Ah, oh, shucks. Guys are exaggerating. He's fidgeting around so much, you can tell that he's embarrassed. Okay, well, I guess he didn't actually give us any information, so let's get out of here. Let's see if we can find anybody else here. Let's present Acro to these guys. Would you mind taking a look at this? Okay, I guess they don't know anything. December 29, Lodging House, First Floor, Moe's Room. Hmm, Moe's not here. What's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick. You're scaring me. <laughs> Nick, it's money. That monkey's holding something. That's it. That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? All right. Time to take on this monkey, attorney style. Give it back, monkey brain. Stay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yikes. Did he get me? I don't know. I think I did it monkey style. I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick, you, you. I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it. Let me see it. Huh? You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean. I really want to try on Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll take you in at the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. Huh? What's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh, well, guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. Stage costume added to the court record. A shiny spangled vest. It's not Maya's size at all, but aren't Maya and Regina like the same size? Hold on, let's uh, examine... Actually, let's take a look at the vest. Let's see. I can't actually look at it. Okay, well, let's go back. Um, We're going to go give this to Regina and we're going to go... Oh, ah! We're gonna say, we got it back and we had a talk and we went. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. It's enough of the monkey business, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's present that. Here you go, Regina. Yay, thank you. You really got it back for me. Yup. <laughs> Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. It's nothing. No wonder guys melt to mush in front of this girl. Hey, Regina. That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? Who the heck is Leon? You know, the lion she told us about. Oh, a lion had on a vest? What? Oh, the one that someone killed. Uh, yikes. Did we talk about that? Oh, we talk about that. Leon. Leon, he was killed, wasn't he? That's right. My dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down, and then he opened his mouth. You know. Gah! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Usually, when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways... What was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon bit someone during the practice. R Regina, everything was alright though, right? No, it wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. Leon added to the court record. The animal shows Lion shot by the ringmaster six months ago for biting a performer. Okay, so he bit somebody in the circus. Who did he bite? Who did he bite? Let's, uh, present that. Who did he bite? What about this? Can you tell me? Um, I'm not really good at figuring out hard things. You were just talking about Leon the Lion. And now you don't even know? Now you won't even know? Alright, well, maybe, uh, Big Sloppy Toppy Mo will know. Let's see. Talk about Leon. You wouldn't know it, but I was responsible for naming all the animals at the circus. You named Money the Monkey and Regent Regina's Tiger? Guilty as charged. But Leon got his name from the ringmaster. 
Really? I'm giving Mo like different voices right now. He always said keep names simple and easy to associate. Nick's name is easy to associate, right, right? I always told Russell, if that's what you think, then call him Lion the Lion. It's a great name, don't you think? Imagine if he could talk. I'm Lion. <laughs> lion. But that's when Russell said, don't lie to yourself. That name is awful. It's actually a pretty decent name. I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, Berry Big Circus. Now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you gonna do? That's all I've thought about the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he heard about the murder. Acro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be half-baked clown. I've been thinking about trying on the ringmaster's shoes. What? Really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue with his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. Mo. All that's left is to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know. The tragedy. You know. What is he talking about? Get over it? Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Nothing at all. He must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? Yes, yes, that's it. You're right, girly. Dang. Dang, dang, correct the moon though. Doesn't he mean ding? Mo, I mean, no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? Huh? No, not at all. What makes you think that? Just the way you said if everyone can get over the tragedy seems a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. <laughs> Mo, I'm right, aren't I? Oh. Are we doing this? You got two locks? Hmm. So now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. The lion thing. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wore big pants for a reason. Six months ago, eh? Okay, well, I think we could do this. Come on, Mo. Tell us what happened six months ago. We know what happened six months ago. We just know. We just figured it out. I'm kind of busy right now. Look, I'm eating a burger as we speak. Um, that looks so tasty. I just wish we could do something about Mo chewing with his mouth open. Wait, uh, how do we do it again? How do we do the psych lock stuff? We do this, right? Boom! I mean, take that! <laughs> let's go, let's do this. Get over it. Everybody, lock in. Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at the circus? Okay, okay. There's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat instead! Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Uh... Actually, I've kinda got an idea what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident? This wouldn't happen to be the cause of the accident, would it? Uh, I think it would be... Leon! Bam! I heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice, right? How did you... Got him. I told him so many times. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like putting her head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo. Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite in the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Mo, is this the person that you promised wouldn't say anything? Um... Please, 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 please. Wait, seriously injured both legs while training six months ago? Okay. Take that! Must have been Acro, right? How did you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the ringmaster. No. No way. I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. Yes, there we go. Okay, so after this, we could probably talk to Acro. 
Unlock successful. Yeah, give me some of those points. Give me some of those sweet, sweet lifelines, baby. So let's talk about getting over it. It's just like you said, you know, the accident. Did someone die? No, but it would have probably been better if he had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Coma? All he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. B brother? They were an acrobat team of brothers, Acro and Bat. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyway, they were an incredible team, cut down together in the prime. Acro's brother. Um, who is Acro's younger brother? Wait, how did you know he was younger? Sean Dingling, but everyone always called him Bat. He fell in love with Regina, trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon. Why'd he do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. Oh, dumbass, huh? I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was smiling. Me? He? You mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. God damn. Some sick grin. No way. That's impossible. A smirking lion. A flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all these incredible events? Nick, can lions smile? Um... We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well... You guys were so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truthfulness has put me in a mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Achoo! Nice. What a wonderful sneeze. Huh? You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana peel. That's basic clownsmanship. Girly, I know you gotta understand that. Nick, I think I make a good clown. Other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter sneezer. <laughs> does Regina sneeze with Pepper too? She does. Bat would always tease her with Pepper. But Bat? From my point of view, those two always look so perfect together. They look perfect together, huh? Okay, well, you know what? Let's move. Let's go. Maybe I present her some pepper. Because I think I have some, right? This? That's pepper, isn't it? From the cafeteria? Huh? It's from the cafeteria. It's not? I remember seeing it there. Hmm. Huh. So this was the cafeteria's pepper. You know, I'm not a big fan of pepper. I know that. Can we talk about it? No? Okay. Well, uh, we're going to go talk to Acro. Because I think... Actually, wait, 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 wait. Um, let's present this. Let's talk about Bat. What do you think about this person? Sorry. Sorry. I've already given my heart to another man, so I'm not interested in enrolling in your dating service. Huh? I just wanted to know if you knew this person. Okay. Never mind. Oh, Mr. Wright. Back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Wait, or was that someone else? We're back because Acro's hiding why his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know. Well, well, it seems you've got things you want to talk about so far away. Okay, well, let's do this, guys. I think I have enough evidence, so take that. Hopefully we have enough. I don't know where else to go. He has three, two, son of a bitch. About the wheelchair, everybody. You're focused, right? It's been an hour, I think. Yeah, it's been an hour. Focus. I have to ask you, how were you injured? I'm sorry, I thought we talked about this. It was an accident that happened during practice. An accident during practice? Yes, unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. If that were the real cause, he'd have no reason to keep it secret. 
Acro, are you really telling me a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Yeah, because, bada bing bada boom, Leon. Leon, six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. Yeah, boy! I know I'm on the right track. I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay, maybe attacked is not the best word to be using. So let me rephrase that as battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. Yes, you had to fight it to save your brother! Bat. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Got him. I don't know what to do for the last one, though. Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just a slip on the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue? Anyways, they were an incredible team. Cut down together in their prime. Cut down together? That was where he slipped, and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up at the center of the same accident, together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still haven't broken Acro's last cyclog. This must be one incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Acro, I know you are still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like very much is the reason you're being evasive. Yeah, you don't like- I TAKE THAT! Gina, you always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. Saying things like she is cruel. Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you? Twice. <laughs> he wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack Bat, are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. Well, you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Don't! Maybe I overdid it again. But if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. Yeah, you put this thing inside of her coat pocket mode sucker! Like this, where did you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. I always take Acro's breakfast in the morning. You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. Damn, finally! That shit took a while. Unlock successful. Give me all those sweet, sweet points, my guy. My legs were injured by Leon. Six months ago, my younger brother, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. That's insane. Didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid, too. But that lion was very old to begin with. And age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened? He just wanted to take her out to the movies. Poor Bat. When Leon chomped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me and that's how I ended up... What about Bat? He's still in a coma. I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. Okay, Regina and Bat. Bat and Regina. They were such great friends. Oh yeah, I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross, it's covered in blood. The scarf. It was a present from Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? 
Leon, obviously. Oh! When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know! Mo said the same thing! What do you think it all means? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind! Miss Von Karma? I've already heard everything! So hand over the scarf! But the scarf is evidence in the trial! That is for me to decide! I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I've served the summons to Acro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro, we'll talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? Come, Acro! Let's go to the office! Yes, ma'am. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we gonna handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. I'll figure something out. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. Okay, cool. To be continued. Whew! What a long investigation. Holy crap. All right, guys. So now we are about to go back into the trial. Acro is going to be the next witness. If you guys want to see that episode as soon as possible, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude! <laughs>